Question 4, paper 2, November 2020. M, negative 3 and 4, is the center of the large circle and a point on the small circle having center O, 0, 0. So M is the center of the large circle and M is also a point on the smaller circle which has the center 0, 0. From N, negative 11 P, a tangent is drawn to touch the large circle at T with NT as parallel to the y-axis. So here we have the line NT that is parallel to the y-axis. Then it says, NM is a tangent to the smaller circle at M, with MOS as the diameter. So this line is a tangent to the smaller circle. Determine the equation of the small circle. So we have the center as 0, 0. And therefore the line MO would be the radius of the circle. So to find the radius, I have the circle as x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equal to the radius squared. But we know the center point is 0. So the equation of the circle would be x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. Now x and y represents a point on that circle. So we have negative 3 and 4. So it will be negative 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to r squared. So therefore r squared is equal to 25. Therefore, the equation of the circle would be x squared plus y squared equal to 25. 4.2. Determine the equation of the circle centered at m in the form of x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals to r squared. So we want to find the equation of the bigger circle. What we know is that t is a tangent to the circle. So from point t to the center, we know that tm is perpendicular to tn. And the reason is tan is perpendicular to the radius because tm would be the radius. So we have Tm is perpendicular to Tn, tangent is perpendicular to the radius. That means that the x value for T would be negative 11 and the y value would be equals to 4. So therefore the coordinate of T would be negative 11 and 4. Now from there, I could find the radius of the circle. And the radius would be the difference between negative 11 and negative 3. So the radius would be negative 3 minus minus 11, which is 8 units. So now that I have this radius as 8 units, I can rewrite the equation of the circle in the format given. So that is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to the radius squared. And the center of the circle would be the a and b values. So it would be x minus minus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared is equal to 8 squared. Therefore, the equation of the circle is x plus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals to 64. 4.3. Determine the equation of nm in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. 
So we want to find the equation of MN. What we know is that MN is a tangent to the smallest circle, meaning MN would be perpendicular to MO, the tan is perpendicular to the radius. So I'll say NM is perpendicular to MO, the tangent is perpendicular to the radius. Next up, we can find the gradient of MO, and then from there, find the gradient of MN. So the gradient of MO would be the difference of y values over the difference of x values, which would be 4 minus 0 over negative 3 minus 0, that is negative 4 over 3. Therefore, the gradient of mn would be 3 quarters, because nm is perpendicular to mo which we have proven before. And the reason why this is 3 quarters, because 3 quarters times negative 4 over 3 would be equal to negative 1. And now I can use the equation of a straight line. So it's y minus y1 equals to the gradient x minus x1. This equation you find on your formula sheet. The points that I would use is the coordinates of m because I want to find the, the equation of m n. So it'll be y minus 4 equals to 3 quarters times x minus minus 3. And if I multiply out, it's 3 quarters x plus 9 over 4 plus 4, and that is equals to y. Therefore, the equation of that line is 3 quarters x plus 25 over 4. 4.4. Calculate the length of SN. In the previous question, we found the equation of this line to be y is equals to 3 quarters of x plus 25 over 4. Now we can use this equation to find the coordinate of P. We were given that MS is the diameter of the circle and we have the center as 0, 0. So if we have the midpoint and the point on the other side, we can use the reverse of the midpoint to find the coordinates of S. So first to find the value of P, I have Y is equal to 3 quarters and x is negative 11, so it is negative 11 plus 25 over 4. And if I simplify this, then I have the y value as negative 2. Therefore, n's coordinate would be negative 11 and negative 2. Now for us to find the coordinates of S, we know that negative 3, which is the x value of m, plus the x value of S divided by 2 would give us the center O, because we are applying the midpoint between two coordinates. So therefore, I have the x value of S as 3. Similarly, 4 plus the y value of s divided by 2 would be equal to 0. Therefore, the y value of point s would be negative 4. Therefore, s's coordinates would be 3 and negative 4. Now I can use these two coordinates to find the length of s in by using the distance formula as found on the formula sheet. So therefore, the length of SN is 10 square root 2 units, or we could say 14.14 units. 4.5. If another circle with center B, negative 2 and 5, 
and radius k touches a circle centered at m, determine the values of k correct to one decimal place. So the information that we are given is that we have another circle at centered b with a radius of k and it touches the circle centered m. So there are two ways for the circle centered at b to touch the circle at centered m. The first way is on the inside. So it will be a smaller radius and that circle would fit inside the circle centered m. The other way is for this circle to have a bigger radius, also k. And now this circle would be touching on the outside of the marked circle. So we have two possible values for k. One where the circle centered B touches the other circle on the inside, and the other one is where it touches on the outside. What we do know is that the circle centered at M has a radius of 8, and that the circle centered at B has a radius of K. Furthermore, we can find the distance between B and M. And this will then allow us to find the values of k. So b is negative 2 and 5, and m is negative 3 and 4. And using the distance formula, the length of bm would be square root of 2. Now, as I explained, we have two possible values for k, or two possible radii. For the first one, on the inside, it will be shorter. So k would be 8 minus square root 2. And for the bigger circle, k would be 8, which is the radius of the other circle, plus square root 2. Furthermore, it said find the values of k correct to one decimal place. So therefore, k is 6.6 .6 units or K is equals to 9.4 units.